Friday, 4th, 1st and latter parts, moderate breezes, at E&E, &E, in the night, calm, hot, and sultry. In our route to the northward this afternoon, we were entertained at one place with music and dancing. The music consisted of three drums, and the dancing was mostly performed by two young women and one man, and this seemed to be their profession. The dress of the women was such as we had not seen before. It was neat, decent, and well chose, and in many respects not much unlike a European dress, only their arms, necks, and shoulders were bare, and their headdress was the tamo stuck with flowers. They made very little use of their feet and legs in dancing, but one part or another of their bodies were in continual motion and in various postures, as standing, setting, and upon their hands and knees, making strange contortions. Their arms, hands, and fingers they moved with great agility and in a very extraordinary manner, and although they were very exact in observing the same motion in all their movements, yet neither their music or dancing were at all calculated to please a European. There were likewise some men who acted a kind of a farce, but this was so short that we could gather nothing from it only that it shewed that these people have a notion of dramatic performances, and some of our gentlemen saw them act a farce the next day, wherein was four acts, and it seemed to them to represent a war between the Bolabola men and those of Uliedia, wherein the former triumphed over the latter. But what might help them to draw this conclusion was the knowing that such a thing has not long ago happened between these two people, and that the Bolabola men at present possess most of the lands on this island. This is their grand dramatic hiva, and I believe is occasionally performed in all the islands. Upon my return to the ship in the evening, I found that they had got on board 20 tons of ballast, and this I thought would be sufficient. In the morning, we sent all our water casks on shore and got them all off full by noon. This morning, I received a present from Apuni, the Irdehi of Bolabola, who at this time was upon this island. It consisted of three hogs, some pieces of cloth, plantains, cocoa nuts, etc. These were sent by his servants, and I was told that he would come the next day himself.